Hello, true art believers, and welcome to today's live stream. It is day 180 of 200, 200 days of drawing. I am the number one live live art streamer in the world. This is Pearson here, and I hope you're having a wonderful day here. I got a new little little hot dog dog right here. Anyways, uh, I got to keep it short. Like, I really do. It's got to be in and out, like 30 minutes, 29 minutes, something like that. So we're just going to, like, jump into the drawing and probably talk about a few things, maybe things that are kind of pon that I'm kind of pondering throughout the day or just pondering for today, really. Anyways, shall we begin? and hello everyone and welcome to today's live art stream i hope you are having a wonderful day i'm doing pretty well myself let's hit the time lapse bazing right here i don't know why i do that silly little silly little uh what you call it um sound effect but i do and here we go we're gonna do a fast drawing blast from the past right here get that in there and we're just gonna go right through it we're just gonna Go as quickly as you can with this drawing process. So press B. There we go. All right. We're ready to go here. Now, what do we want to do today is I think I'm just going to do, well, I'm not going to do anything different. I'm not going to reinvent the wheel with these with these cactus drawings. I think what I might do is a, a cactus that's kind of like leaning. And then I'll do, you know, I'll just do a cactus that's leaning and, and so forth so something like this I'll, yeah it's going to be a leaning cactus that is that has like small arms yeah it's a leaning cactus this time in a pot easy peasy so really productive day I know I say this every day, like it never really changes. I never really have, well, I do have, I do have days of, of, I have days where it's, things aren't as efficient, but I've been really, really, I've been streamlining it. I've been hitting it hard. I've been hitting the, um, the time efficiency, um, what do you call it? The time efficiency weights. And I've been hitting those those weights really, really hard. And I, I'm I am very, very happy with the outcomes. Yeah, hitting those time efficiency weights and so forth. So again, welcome at four. Been trying to uh, uh, change a habit of mine, which has been um, when I wake up, I typically hit the snooze button twice. Um, and I've been trying to change it. I just can't seem to break that that pattern. And uh, after doing some uh, reading um, and reviewing, I decided that what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to change the the habit stream so what i mean by that is when i wake up when i wake up instead of hitting the snooze button i go straight to the shower so i'm kind of changing the behavior um and that's after kind of just doing some uh research and uh hearing what some like time efficient gurus are talking about and i'm like well you know let's try that let's let's change the 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 behavior and see where it takes me, you know? So basically waking up at, um, wake up at four and then I hit the snooze button or I, I go straight to the shower as opposed to hitting the snooze button. So, so far I did that today and pretty good. Another habit change that I've been trying to curtail is I get very drowsy around 1030, uh, 10.30 noon and many reasons for that is, uh, well, for one, the main reason is I've already been up for about six hours and I'm like, I'm starting to hit like that, a, a wall, a mental, like just physical wall. And so I start, I start to get fatigued at that time. And so one way that I've been trying to 
curtail that behavior has been um, I've been rewarding myself with like a cup of coffee. Um, so having a cup of coffee to kind of um, inhibit my my like pre fatigue, my drowsiness. And so that's been working pretty well too. So I've been trying to do a bunch of like habit changing things after reading atomic habits. And <clears throat> so far it's working pretty good. There has been some struggles. I'm still struggling with my midnight routine, but I have uh, done a few things that have been helped, have helped me, you know, help me skim off a few minutes here and there. And so I've been trying to set up a, a kind of like a nightly routine that kind of initiates a, a an action to go closer to to go to bed essentially, and what that is for me at the moment is dumping the old coffee grounds out and then um, putting in new coffee grounds, putting a coffee cup right next to the coffee machine, and then in, filling up some water bottles right next to my vitamins that is also next to the coffee machine. And so that is something I've been trying to do. I've been trying to tweak my uh, my methodology so that I become better through time, you know. And I'm all about that. I find it very it, just very uh, therapeutic to create new habits that make things more consistent because. I think by nature, all of us, we, we don't like chaos, although, and because we don't like chaos, we, we crave consistency or some sort of, some form of consistency. And what doing those small little things does for me is kind of normalizes a, a, a consistent behavior that will help me initiate the process of going to bed earlier. Now, it's it's not always it's not perfect, right? It's not always it's not always glamorous and it's not always effective, but it starts the the process for getting my sleep in order. And so I'm pretty excited about that. So that's my like what I've been doing lately is trying to modify my uh, my habits to become a little bit more effective, a little bit more efficient. And that's why you're noticing a a little bit more consistent behavior with regards to when I'm doing my live stream. So that's I have to I have me kind of modifying my habits to thank for that. And uh, I, that's, I kind of like that, that, that idea where I'm able to do these things at an earlier time, you know, and, you know, it just takes practice really. So notice how it's all kind of sloppy like this. I'm going to keep it like that because I like, I like having it sloppy like that. I like having that like organic feel to it. I'll lock the layer. Then we're going to go to the background. So we're at nine minutes. We're making pretty good time. All right. So that's my, like, that's my life is just, it's very boring. It's nothing like, nothing fantastical about it. It's just kind of like just repeating the same thing over and over again. You know? Whoa. Basically, I'll, uh, I'm basically doing the same thing over and over again. Nothing changes. Uh, and I'm my, my goal is to become hyper efficient with my time or be very effective with it, you know, which allows me to do these things that I'm doing. Uh, it's, it's very difficult to do these things uh, with when you're uh, with my schedule. And I'm not trying to like, brag or anything or trying to like or uh create sympathy but like i have there's 
I have a job that that uh, makes it makes it very difficult to do things like this because it's it's right in the prime time, the right in this sweet area, you know, right in the evening. I work in the evening, so I'm not able to do this type of work when it would be the most conducive for me. You know, so that's what I, I have to deal with is like a, a time. I'm in a position in my time. I'm like, my time is in a weird, I'm trying to position my time so that it, it, it's organized a little bit more efficiently. And I'm able to kind of be more effective with application of what I'm doing and what I'm doing and where and when and so forth, you know, and to the layman, it sounds, it's, it's weird. It's a weird per thing for someone to do, you know, to, to have, like these like safeguards like how why are you doing this like why you wake up at 4 a.m you know why are you making your t why are you um spending your time what's sorry i need i need to fix this there we go i don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> I seriously don't. All right. So now it's time to do this. I'm going to go to pot and we're going to lock this to the pot. So I'm I'm I've gotten better at doing this stuff, time-wise, um, organizing my day. If, if anything, this these live streams have made me more proactive in 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 uh, um, improving how I navigate my day my day to day, you know, and and really um, really putting a emphasis on how I model my day. You know, what would like I ask, like maybe I asked, I'll, I'll ask the question, like what would make this day great? You know, like what would what would be a perfect day? And usually the perfect day is if I'm able to get my my commission drawing work in and I'm able to do my live stream. And most of the days I do that. I'm knocking my commission work um, every fourth day, every four days. I don't do a commission work. I'm I'm, I'm uh, focused on on fitness. I'm, I'm exercising. So like I'll put my my most important task on those days to just exercising and and then um you know just living a, a healthier life so that is uh on those days specifically i'm not necessarily focused on the on that on on my artwork most more specifically the commissions uh i, f I find that um it helps to take a break from the commissions and then work out and then kind of schedule your day or schedule your week. So like every fourth fourth day, I will work out and then I will schedule my next four days out in advance so I know exactly what I'm doing. Um, typically, I'm my uh, my time frame for when I do a live stream there is is has been very variable. Like it's been inconsistent, but I've been slowly dialing that in and I'm very happy with the fact that I've been able to kind of tweak it um, over and like it's it's getting better and better. So I'm getting better with the process and I really am happy with that. Um, it's taken me almost 200 tries to really get consistent with these live streams. Um, it's very difficult for me to get consistent, you know, like the people that are, that are, um, making a living off this. I understand that like, it's easier to make when you're making a living off of your live streams. I, I like the, the motivation to be consistent with it is much, much like higher, you know, 
and I'm not trying to say, oh, uh, I'm not making anything from this, but you know, there is something that I'm getting out of it. Like I'm getting satisfaction in the fact that I'm able to produce an artwork a day and so forth. So that's very satisfying to me. What I need to do to improve those, I need to maybe sit down five minutes prior or the night before, sit down and kind of like go through like a checklist of what I want to kind of talk about during these live streams. So I have like a kind of like a prompt to work with because I'm kind of just, if I don't have anything to talk about, sometimes it's just dead air. You know, and uh, that happens a lot because sometimes I'm not really pondering things like we're like this is expectation that you should have like something of significance to say when you're doing these live streams. And I guess that's probably like the way that the 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 culture of it, you know, we're, we're kind of built. It's kind of been built in. Like where this is what you have to do when you do a live stream is you have to you have to talk. You know, no one wants to see you just draw straight. You want a lot of people want to see you kind of talk about your process and like why you're doing this, you know, and I get it. So I get the the idea that you have to talk, you have to kind of provide an extra outside value of sorts. But um, most of the time, I don't know what kind of topics the topic I talk about, you know, there's uh, a lot of strange things happening in the world, and I really don't feel like talking about that stuff. I think there's a lot of people that have their own – that talk enough about it, and I don't need to be talking about it myself. I guess maybe I could do it to kind of carry it like clickbait maybe. Or like I want to hear what this person has to say about this topic, blah, blah, blah. I mean we got enough of those. All right. So I have um, 17 minutes in. We're doing really, really good. I can't complain. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out here and I'm going to use the bright yellow. I'm going to try to I'm going to try to zoom in. Apparently I can't put a little bit of a little bit of this here, a little bit of that. I love doing that. Just like doing that that uh maybe maybe put some blue here. Ooh, that's pretty. Put a little blue here, you know. Maybe some right here, and then like a really dark blue, maybe like a really dark blue in this area. So just kind of playing around with color here. Maybe on this, do some like a, a, uh, a yellow. There we go. I think that's it. I think we'll call that one done. And then we're going to go to sand, and we're just going to lock the layer. Actually, we're not going to lock the layer yet. We're going to erase some of it. I guess the main thing that I like talking about during these live streams is is like time if time, spending using your time more effectively. I like talking about things that I want you to pursue things that make you happy, you know? Because I think a lot of us don't pursue things that make them happy. They 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 um they do the opposite of that, right? I think they people should spend more time doing things that brings them joy, you know? And I think we, we, a lot of us lose sight of that and are more focused on, on stuff that does nothing for us, you know? So I want you to find things that make you happy. I want you to do those things. And I know that, and even at like, just do them, you know? And so that's what I, want to t i usually talk about like finding your passion finding your why becoming more effective with your time um i guess the best way to be more effective with your time is actually just start a schedule you know get a calendar and start a schedule it could be very simple it doesn't have to be super technical like a lot of, there's all these books and stuff and sh that show you how like oh this is what you need to do if you want to be more if you want to be better at your time this is what you need to do well, there's no like there is no like tried and true method to what how to use your time more effectively. You just it's going to what it, what it really mean, boils down to is what works for you and what do you think what do you think works for you and just 
trial and error. That's all, all, all it means is like, if you want to become better at, um, use, utilizing your time more effectively, you are just going to have to practice utilizing your time more effectively. And uh, the first step would probably be getting a schedule using a calendar, not Google calendar, but like just a regular calendar that you have to write it down because there's some research say, stating, uh, pointing out to that. If you write it down, you have a higher chance of doing that thing that you want to do. Um, so that's like the simplest thing you can do is start using a calendar. Now that's easier said than done because learning how to use a calendar is a skill. Like, of course, all of us can write down what we're going to do that day, you know, but it isn't abundantly clear what you need to be putting into a calendar, at least for you, you know, for, for me, I've through trial and error, I know what works for me. It doesn't mean it's going to work for you. So that's why I'm, I don't really talk about that stuff. You know, some people really like to have an hour by hour synopsis of what they're doing. You know, some people can't do that. And they like to do like, they like to clump four hours in or, or, um, they like to do like general things. They like to write down general things they want to accomplish in that day, you know, and that is okay for that person. Um, but I all have to say is like just having a calendar and actually knowing what you're going to do that day puts you ahead of like a lot of people, you know, cause a lot of people don't know what they're going to do from day to day. They like in their mind, they know like, what are you going to do in your day off? Uh, well, I probably got to do some laundry. I got to go, uh, I might do this, I might do that. Like the might part, right? It's, it's, that's, what's defeating a lot of people is like, I might do this. I might do that. When you write it down and say, okay, I wrote this down. I'm going to do this. You know, I'm going to do this thing that I saw out, set out to do. Um, this is what this live stream is all about. These 200 days of live streams, like by, um, by kind of, I didn't state out loud that I was going to draw 200 days. Like I could have, I could have just, uh, uh, draw, drew, I could have said, Oh, this is my new series. And, uh, uh, I'm going to draw every, I'm gonna do a live stream every day for 200 days. And then I could have just like said, you know what, I'm not going to do this anymore and not tell anyone. And it's not going to like hurt anyone. It's not going to, uh, affect me any, you know, uh, it, the only, the only person that's going to affect is me. It's not going to affect anyone else. You know, um, but I write that down in my schedule In my schedule. I write this one. I want to do this, this, this thing today, you know, um, and I have a general like time frame. I want to do it. So I want to, I, in my, in my calendar, I wanted to get it done in roughly around, uh, in around noon, you know, uh, I'm off by an hour and a half or so, but those are like things that are not, they're not out of my control, but they're definitely like, I don't really have as much control with the, uh, getting this done as early as I can. You know, I have a, a, a bunch of things that are kind of locked in and that's because I stick to a schedule, you know, and what I suggest, if you want to learn that you just, you, you can, there's some, there's a lot of people online that talk about how to, make a, a calendar and how they work, how their calendars work. And, you know, you can pick and shoot, pull, uh, some things from other, from, from people and see and apply it to your day to day and see if it works. If it doesn't work, you, you know, you can keep trying at it, right? Like it's not going to work at the very beginning. Like for, for real, I, I, when I, it took me a couple years to really get dial in, stick into a schedule, uh, to really dial it in. Like I would, I'd stick to it for a couple months. Uh, and then I'd not skip it, but it wouldn't be as thorough. I just couldn't find the, find the time quote unquote to work, to actually, um, work on my, my calendar, you know? And, uh, so now, I, uh, I, I, I kind of, I do set aside time to quote unquote work on my calendar, but before it wasn't like important to me. Like the fact that I, I think at the time I was like, you know what? I, I did it for six months straight. That's more than the average person. Probably. 
you know, I think I'm good. I didn't stop doing it, but I definitely would like me if I missed the week of scheduling, I wasn't like crying over it. If I missed the day, I didn't cry over it. Um, it wasn't like it was important, but it wasn't like the the it didn't break my my week if I wasn't able to work on my schedule, you know. Some other things that are important to me is when I talk on these live streams, what it does. So you kind of you kind of notice at the very beginning, I'm like, I'm like, what would you call? It? What would you call it? Like um, stumbling and fumbling through my words, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to find a, a, a the proper words for the thoughts that I'm thinking. And so what what these live streams do sometimes is they allow me to kind of think about things, if that makes any sense. So by doing these live streams and I start talking about what I'm doing or talking about what's going on in my day, it kind of becomes like a, um, a moment of self-reflection or a time. It's like these live streams are like a time of self-reflection. And since I'm spending time reflecting on on like what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, or are trying to articulate some of these thoughts about time management, um, I in theory make become slightly better at managing my time to some degree or another. I don't know what level that is, but I I, uh, I feel like that is a um, a case. All right, so I think what I'm going to do now is we're going to do another layer. I'm going to do like this, the actual 27 minutes. We're going to do that like the dark tones here. Zoom in real. So, you know, I know these drawings aren't like the best drawings. I mean, I, they're they're highly kind of abstracted cactuses. Right, they're not, they're just kind of here, you know, they don't have a meaning. I'm not doing them because there's a like, I was, I'm not doing because I was born into, I, I was raised in the desert now. I, I yearn to live, go back to a, a simpler time. Oh no. And I yearn to go back to a time where it was simpler, right? No, uh, it's it's more so like, um, you know, I, I found this tutorial and I'm just, I want to become highly adept at it. And then I'll move on to something else for the next 100 days. And I think the next 100 days are going to be skies. I would really like to get really efficient at drawing skies. And then maybe after that, it'll be um, like, skulls or something that I can get done and call like a piece of art and not like, oh, this is a study. I don't want the 30 minutes to be a, a study. I want the the out final outcome to actually come with like I'm yielding something. I'm producing something at the end. Like so these end up being a final drawing. You know, they're not just, oh, good, nice little study you did there. You know, because essentially all of them are kind of studies, but in the end, they actually become something more than that. Yeah, so we're at 29 minutes. I'm vastly behind. Let's see if I can kind of make it faster and see if I can kind of... Uh, abstract it a little bit more Let's see what happens if i do that so this is what i've been kind of doing lately is um just kind of doing like these more generalized forms and just doing a sub oh, i've got like tingly hands at the moment a um a darker stripe to kind of show those little those little notches in the cactuses and the cacti and then adding like a highlight of sorts to kind of just suggest that form as opposed to actually drawing it i 
there we go. Let's kind of do some stuff like that. A little highlight there yeah so i think we're, it's, it's turning out pretty good i don't really know how much I'm gonna, more time i'm going to spend on it i'm going to probably kind of wean it off real soon just going to add a few like ultra saturated like greens here and this is what i've been starting to do lately is if i'm getting if i find myself kind of going off track and spending extra time on it like it's at 31 minutes um, I'm, I start to kind of say, you know what, we're just going to call it and just move, move on to a, just kind of stop for the day and, and, um, leave it in its like unfinished abstract glory. And then, uh, just leave it like that. You know, there's something to be said about that. So a few things like that, and then maybe add a, some uh, tone right here. Yeah. add some tone right there. A little bit of tone right here. And yeah, so kind of leave it like that in its abstract glory and not really worry about some of those details. You know, and that's what I've been doing lately. Because it's at 32 minutes and I got still got thorns to do and the thorns take me a little while. That's something I haven't been able to streamline let, yet. Um, yeah, so that's why I've been trying to get these in under 30 minutes. That's my goal is to get the drawings basically done in 30 minutes. And for the most part, I've been pretty good at that. Um, I didn't like this, the long thorns. So I think maybe the reason why I kind of talk about scheduling and time is because you have to be kind of effective with your time if you're going to do a set up a habit of of doing a, a live stream a day, you know, um, especially if you have a a job that isn't just being a full time YouTuber, you know, or whatever that is. And so you have to be more effective with how you're applying and managing your time. And, um, you know, like I, I I've often been around friends who ask me they have no time like well in theory none of us have time we don't own time you know it's not like oh let me go to the time store and buy myself some time we don't have time this isn't that uh that movie with justin timberlake where the, where they is like it's like time out or something or out of time or something you know you don't own time you can direct it move it around in your schedule uh, we all have the same amount of hours, same amount of minutes, same amount of seconds a day. Um, we, the only thing we can do is, is make a, 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 an effort to manage it differently or more effectively than the way that we're doing right now. So if you say you don't have time, you're just saying, what you say to me is like, you don't want, you don't, you don't manage your time at all. Um, or or like you don't you have time you just don't want to s spend that time with hanging out with me because you have other things to do um which is fine just say you don't want to hang out with me you know you know how you you know how you have friends that say like oh i don't have any time like yeah you have time you just you're just not using it well and you're and you just don't want to hang out with me just say that you know it's fine I, I won't hang out with you either i will use my time for someone who wants to spend it with me you know, and that's fine too. There's nothing wrong with that. You, we all have our own decisions to make during the day. And just like I choose to do this. And I think this is a better use of my time than watching Star Trek Deep Space Nine as much as I like watching that. Or the latest episode of Rick and Morty, which I haven't watched any of those latest episodes. Or the latest episode of South Park. Everyone's like, hey, have you seen a new South Park? I'm like, or like, or... I don't even think, or have you been watching any? Have you seen the last season? Like, I haven't seen, 
like any season since forever or like you watch the new marvel movie like i i don't have time to to do that here we go i th i just said i don't have time nope i didn't i choose not to spend time watching marvel movies there we go uh because they there there are so many of them and you can you can in theory like spend days watching all the marvel movies now just like i think the same thing with the, if you want to watch if you were to binge watch this all these simpson shows episodes you would be you'd be like you wouldn't like for if back to back to back it'd be like months and months like i think it's like a month of of actual footage of video footage that's how many simpsons episodes there are and that was like a couple years back and they're still making the simpsons anyhow um i'm a huge proponent of being more effective with your time and using it in a fashion that you feel makes you happier you know um and the reason why i talk about managing your time and and sticking to a schedule is because actually when you do that your freedom opens up a lot more because now you know where you're putting your time at and now you're able to delegate time you want to spend with friends and family or doing activities that you thought you didn't have time to do because you're so quote unquote busy you know a lot of us will say oh i'm so busy so busy do you know what you're doing in the next hour no i could tell you what i'm doing in the next hour yeah technically i do you know or like i can tell you where i'm going to be at at five out like because i know i got to go to work at five but i also i also could tell you what i'm going to be doing from four to seven thirty tomorrow i'll know exact i know exactly what i'm doing some people like the, the and there's nothing wrong with that i'm not saying i'm not trying to like say that what i'm doing is is like something special like there's a lot of people that do that like you know it's, it's nothing it'll be like i'm not like being extra proud or anything maybe i should maybe i gotta own it a little bit maybe i say like you know what because i'm able I'm so good with my time. I'm able to spend time with my family. I'm able to do these live streams. I'm able to work on my commissions. I'm able to do all these very fun things because I'm I'm really focusing uh, on on um, where I allocate my time. I don't know. Um, it allows me to it, it frees up my day, and knowing what I'm going to be doing at a certain at any given point really helps with just uncertainty like being uncertain with your day is very stressful not knowing what you're going to be doing or not knowing just not knowing things you know just not knowing like oh what's going to happen at this time is that's dreadful some to some people you know I can tell you what ever since i've been ever since i've been doing this my signature and numbers have gotten better like i used to have i had like sloppy sloppy uh uh writing but now i'm able to dr make these uh these uh letters and numbers much cleaner than i what i used to be uh, than i used to than from the past i don't know whatever uh, they're much better than what they used to be and that is it today i hope i had i don't know i don't think i had anything really anything really good to say like everything's kind of everything's kind of discombobulated like these live streams when i'm talking about i'm talking about time management and i'm talking about all these weird things it's really um they're they're like half thoughts you know and uh i think i talk about them because those it allows me to organize them in my head but anyways i am done for the day uh if you enjoyed this type of content and you like seeing these drawings don't forget to subscribe for more um and i also have artist interviews roughly every week it depends on when i can schedule them i'm trying my best to do one a week but sometimes people back out 
or I'm not able to sync, sync up with someone. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Anyways, I got to get going. I'm about 10 minutes over past my time frame for this live art stream. Just want to say thank you so much for watching. It has been awesome. It has been swell. This is Pearson. I am the number one live art streamer in the world. Have a good one. Cheers.